How is an artist inspired to create? Anacostia artist Terence Nicholson, who paints and performs music, grew up in Baltimore and D.C. He says the region was a much rougher place when he was growing up. Now, as an adult, he has combined his life experiences to make this piece of art, which speaks to dreams of children being ended because of war and violence. Well, the piece is called Daisy Cutter, and it's uh, named after one of those most destructive bombs that the U.S. has ever made. Uh, it's a cemetery that sort of takes after Arlington Cemetery, and these uh, dream sickles, representations of dream sickles that are not finished. The dream sickles are tombstones for the young children that have been killed by stray bullets in D.C., the kids that have been killed in Palestine and Afghanistan, and each one, some of them haven't even been touched yet. So, um, so it's a, it's a cemetery in memorial to children who didn't ask to be, you know, who may have just wanted to be on the swings one day or wanted to ride their big wheel and a stray bullet killed them or kids that wanted to kick a ball around in, 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 in Ramallah or, you know, in, in Palestine uh, and weren't able to because of tanks and missiles. So uh, that's what this piece is about. That's what it speaks to, the, the children who weren't able to realize their dreams. Also growing up around this region, in addition to the violence he saw as a kid, he also saw a lot of violence to the landscape, where gentrification, condos, and luxury apartments ruined Chinatown, he says, and he hopes that the flavor of his new home, Anacostia, won't be lost as development travels east of the river. Uh, this is the result of a conversation I had with a friend of mine about um, the gentrification that was happening, uh, the displacement that was happening in, uh, in, in parts of D.C. And uh, so what happened is that we had a conversation after they just got finished turning uh, Gay Jackington School into a condo. And um, they apparently had left the uh, porta potty on the premises. And so uh, I told my friend, they better hurry up and get it because if they don't, the developers are going to show up and turn that into a condo. And so um, when we got back, when I got back home, I worked out some sketches and so I sort of came up with this idea of Jiffy Locks. Uh, uh, DC is in an interesting period right now where um, a lot of the historical uh, landmarks and areas are sort of being rolled over. A lot of uh, people who have roots here are being priced out. Uh, Chinatown, which was used to be five blocks in every direction, is now reduced to like the arch, like one block, you know. So it's kind of an interesting time, you know, and people who are newly here, moving here, really don't recognize, uh, may not always know the full story of how the loft that they're living in uh, got there or, you know, at what cost. So uh, as I talk to friends of mine and as I, uh, you know, that's important to me having been a person that has been born and raised in Washington, D.C. This is the type of stuff that makes a person want to keep working, you know, keep on creating, to get those ideas out, those concepts, um, to share with people, to, you know, kind of make people look at things differently, you know, sort of tilt people's head this way and say, look at this or look at that, you know, um, I think that's our job as artists, is to, to, to help, help uh, people really look at things more deeply. It's his uh, Arlington Cemetery and it is very, very moving to come here and see such a fabulous piece of work that somehow summarizes all of our feelings about our lost kids. You know, it's good to get it out of the living room or to, you know, to get out here into the public, see what people think about it and all, and, and then it's back to the drawing board. So, you know, right now I'm, I'm enjoying, there's some really fabulous artwork here. People are really supporting everyone else, and uh, I'm just grateful to be a part of it.